Hello everybody, in this tutorial I will present you checkpoint groups in the transaction SAB and uh, how you can use the breakpoints, assert and like lock points. Here we need to enter in the transaction in the transaction SAB. Here we create a checkpoint group and uh, then we have the possibility to activate the breakpoints, the logs and the assertion but for this you need to create a report or you need to use them in a program, in a class, in the function module they are very good for analyzing and they can help you not to debug step by step, line by line the whole program if you have a program with 1000 line of codes I will show you a report right now so we have this report, it's not important this business logic but the important things are these things the assert condition because here it will stop if this will be and in the assert condition will stop just when this C index will be 10 because 10 different 10 it's false the other ones are true and this will be locked in the in the system lock okay then this lock point will also write the seconds and how many seconds were and also this this index with the index 15 and the breakpoint ID but a very important thing is to know that okay you have this breakpoint ID, this log point ID and this assert ID but these will be will be available just if you do some things in the checkpoint group because we have this checkpoint group we need to go in our checkpoint group and here we can see the, uh, at the breakpoints we have inactive and stopped also log points, inactive or, or log or protocol error and also on the assertion, if you use the protocol run on this condition we'll, we will have here in the log, in the protocol but if you use abrehend we will have a short dump on the screen first I will just put the breakpoints here on the unhalten and then you will see that the program will stop I will go in the program when we will save this checkpoint group we will see that we have a, it will appear a pop-up and you can specify for today or for this week and until when and we will specify today now we will run the program and we will see that the debugging will stop in breakpoint the program will stop in the debugging now we can see that our program it stopped in the breakpoint when we meet the breakpoint ID and our checkpoint group because we have specified in the checkpoint group stop when you meet a breakpoint now we will deactivate and we will see that the program will not stop in the breakpoint statement it was to stop here now it's inactive we go back to the program we run the program we can see that the debugger it's not it's not entered in the debug mode because we have don't specified in the checkpoint group hey stop for this checkpoint group when you meet a breakpoint like this but we can go back in the ch in our checkpoint group we can look in this protocol tab and here we can delete all these protocols and now we can run again the program we go back we make a refresh and now we can see that we have the assert statements and also the log tests because on the assert statement we can see that we have and we can see that for these fields DAO and C index because we have passed them in the in the assert statement we go back 
we see that in the third we use the dower and the c index field and we use also this key lk with which is a third test and we will have it specified here a third test and it's also a third end because we use the c index from here we put it here in the key and because of this it's a third test 10 because it will stop when 10 different 10 because this is false because it's equal and here we have the field name value and also we have the field name and with the the value we also have the unit here the date the other things now we can see what we have in the log in the log we have we have also the field name dower with the field value and the l index text with index because if we go here we can see that we have the sub key it's log test because it is also here log test the sub key and the fields are down and l index text l index text it is here because it's null i think here l index type string we don't have nothing in it we just concatenate these two fields in this variable separated by space then we will pass the dow and l index text the dow is 0006 zero, 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 and this dow is here in this field and this dow is also the same like here we can see that here it's null 006 and also here we can see that it's the same value ok so this was with the lock points with the assert conditions and also with um, these statements how you can use it in a program they are very useful if you make analyze on a program they are very very useful and they can help you a lot you just need you just need to activate them and these can be very useful is if you use them on a on a client system because sometimes you don't have access to debug on the system on the client system you make blind programming and then you need to correct some, something but if you have these variables sometimes in the program they can be very useful okay so thank you very much i hope you enjoy it and have a nice day bye